It makes me so happy to express my misery. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danielle. I do too much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Hello and welcome to Star Puppy. I'm Danielle, your resident weirdo. Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Talks. I'm not what? A psychiatrist, a psychologist, a therapist, or a counselor. But Tuesday Talks is the series in which I give advice to my younger self. And if you hear yourself in my story, that's wonderful. And I hope it helps you. If this is your first episode, check out the playlist so you can get caught up. Do your homework, do your hair, do a backflip. I'll be there. Last week's episode was on when I quit dating cold turkey and what happened. The results might surprise you. <laughs> and today's topic is, well, tips for people who are creatives. I'm talking artists, musical artists, writers. Dancers, actors, anything of the creative variety that are currently in non-creative fields. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I was in corporate America for two years and before then I was in a full-time semi-creative kind of industry, but like, not really. Um, for four years total? So, I learned some stuff. <laughs> By trade, I, uh, I do a great many things, as you know from the intro, but um, one of them is a uh, visual artist. I designed this. Isn't it cute? Check that out below the video if you're interested. It helps the channel directly and I'd appreciate it, but do what you want. I'm here for you. I'm a trained actor in Atlanta, Georgia, and a professional model. And now I'm a YouTuber. Writing, directing, acting, editing. I really do do too much. So imagine all of those things that I'm passionate about behind a desk. And uh, it was rough. Um, I was very thankful for the steady income and for my lovely co workers. I loved my co workers so much. Um, and I miss them. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about. The good stuff, we're here to talk about the bad, the, the bad stuff. But just know that I am eternally grateful for that time in that office because it taught me so much and I could afford so many things. And I grew so much and I miss my best friend who also worked at that office and got me the job in the first place. I love you girl, I miss you girl. Tip number one, biggest tip, do not, do not stop, stop creating. creating. I wish I could sit here and give you like this like fluffy spiel about you know you have to just stay true to yourself and like never stop the creative journey and make sure that like you really feed that creative flame because you don't want it to die. It'll never die. The truth is if you don't release creative energy it doesn't dissipate it metastasizes. <laughs> that creative energy as a creative person you actually have to release that energy otherwise it will turn into a poison <laughs> so in the fluffier part of what i just said those things are true but the dark side of the creative process or rather the lack of expression of creative ideas and creativity itself is that if you don't do the thing, the thing will bitter you. You will be embittered by the lack of that energy being released. For instance, me! When I stopped drawing, there was kind of a grace period of when I would still like think about a thing to draw or think of a story I wanted to illustrate or like a cool concept I wanted to express and like maybe inks, pastels, um, colored pencils, those are my main tools. Um, and I would just let them go because I thought I had outgrown being creative, especially in that way. Um, I became so irritable and snippy and just unsatisfied. 
I felt unsatisfied all the time. Like, like any other thing, like any other emotion or energy expression you, you have. Like people who exercise a lot, including myself, like if you go a couple, like, d depending on the person, days, weeks, or even months without exercising, you get all, ugh. These creative urges that occur naturally in you need to be released because otherwise you're going to get frustrated like another kind of frustration some of us experience. If you know what I mean. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> Creativity for most of us creatives is a stress reliever. It's an expression of your truest self, your thoughts, emotions, how you move through the world, how you perceive the world, how the world communicates itself to you. Actions, emotions, it's an expression of everything. And that can be very cathartic. <laughs> Is there anything truly better than drawing just a full out emo thing? When you really get into like your emo e-girl, like deep, beautiful misery, <laughs> it's so fun. It makes me so happy to express my misery. Mmm, <laughs> it's mwah, chef's kiss good. <laughs> what if I didn't? Then the misery is just still right there, right there, right on my chest. <laughs> get that misery off you. I'm experiencing joy in just expressing the expression of creativity. It's a stress reliever. How are you gonna? How are you gonna? <laughs> How are you just gonna keep that inside? That's what... That is a bad plan. It's going to be very tempting to reserve some of that time that you would previously dedicate to creative endeavors to something else, such as sleep or cooking a meal or something. This would be such a good time for me to be like, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, but it's not. Don't give up that time. First of all, that is stress relief. Secondly, that's reconnecting to yourself. I lost that connection to myself. The first time I picked up a piece of paper and did watercolor on it in years was on this channel. It was for this channel. I had to trick my adult brain into justifying a reason to create instead of creating for creation's sake. If you have to, if you have to do this because your adult brain is raging and you can only do things for a purpose, use this purpose. Mental health. Taking 30 minutes to an hour to do this thing that makes me feel good and express myself, reconnect to myself, is me taking care of my mental health, which I need how many days? Every days. <laughs> so if you have to, use that. Just shut that adult brain up and be like, I need to be healthy. <laughs> so I have to paint. I must paint. Also, I would highly suggest using your creativity to make other friendships. Another very difficult thing of being a post-grad person, an adult, a 20-something, is making friends. Because until this point, you have been in school where you've been surrounded by people your age and very likely with your same interests somewhere. I would highly suggest using apps um, to check out like people locally congregating. Um, I personally use the Meetup app, which today's video is also not sponsored by. Tag me in their Instagram, make them notice me. <sighs> I gotta pay these bills, y'all. I would use those to go to drawing meetups, language exchange meetups, I'm part of a language exchange meetup thing. I've gone to like dance meetups and I do a lot of stuff. You can also trick your brain into letting you be creative um, to create and maintain friendships. So use your art to connect with other people. 
in varying quantities across different personalities to start friendships, build friendships, gain some enemies. Heck, listen, an enemy is social interaction. Having a job in a non-creative field doesn't make you a non-creative person. You're always going to be a creative. You're never going to stop. You can stop expressing it and make yourself mad or you can make the effort to continue being creative. It takes more time and it takes more diligence and it takes more discipline, but you have to take care of yourself. And a big part of yourself is being creative and artistic. So it's more than worth the energy and the investment and the effort. You can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. So please, don't let this part of yourself die. Because it won't. <laughs> you can do it. Come on. Believe in yourself. You can do it. Draw a thing. You know what? You know what? I challenge you to watch this playlist and do a creative thing if it's a creative activity that you can do while someone's talking to you. <laughs> And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna insert the footage of me creating this design into the rest of this video. I'm gonna give y'all a nice long outro, long, of a time lapse of me creating this. I want you to take this time that you've taken to watch this much of the video to do that thing that you know you love to the core of who you are. Because you clearly have time. No excuses! You can do it! Do it now! <laughs> Grab a little scrap piece of paper and do the thing, okay? And thank you for watching. I upload on Tuesdays for Tuesday Talks and Saturdays for Star Puppy vs. Something Saturdays, which is my hair care adventures. And I hope that you'll like, please share this video and like it, it helps me so much and it's so free to you. <laughs> and if you're interested in this and other such things, Check it out if you are so inclined. Also below the video for convenience. I hope this helped you because even if you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you. I really do. This has been me, Danielle, your resident weirdo. Star Puppy signing out, but the video isn't ending. Say it with me now. <laughs> Star Puppy, away. <laughs>